Welcome back, it's your boy Flexion, coming at you from Share Factory, brought to you by Flexision on PS4. Alright, so I'm going to go through and explain to you guys how time bending works. What you do here is you hover over your clip, go to your menu, and then you apply the time bender effect. Once you've done that, you can apply your speed to whether you want it to be slower or faster. And after that, you have these two options to choose between. It's step or smooth. Step is to where it'll step over some frames to make it that fast forward effect or slow motion effect. Smooth is to where it'll combine frames to make a more smoother effect. But you really won't get the results until after you've uploaded your video. Alright, so unfortunately, there isn't a rewind. Which ShareFact you really needs to add. Like... Honestly, they really need to add a rewind because there are times to where I can use it, but they don't have it. Same with the redo button. I wish they can have a redo button because I mess up a lot. So add that in Share Factory. Anyway, you see how I went through and fast forwarded it? And then this is slow motion. I mean, you guys get the idea on how this works, you know. Use it to the speed of your liking and, you know, whatever's relevant to your content. I actually have some tips and tricks on how to create a rewind effect. So. It'll just create the illusion to it looks like where you're rewinding and everything like that. So yeah, let's get into that. All right, so unfortunately there's no rewind when it comes to your time bender, but I have some tips and tricks for you to make it look like you are rewinding it. All right, so check out this clip. I'm gonna go through and try to make it look like all that is gonna go back to the beginning so you can see how this actually happened. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I've only done this one time, so. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm about to duplicate this clip right here. All right, take this clip, add a time bender, make it X4, cause uh, let me see. Okay, you hear that? You hear the like the squeaky noises and all that? All right, watch this. I'm gonna add a transition right here. What transition did I use last time? Hold on. Replace. I'm gonna just go on burn fade, all right? Cause it's more like a flashbacky. All right, so I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna add a filter, and I'm gonna add VHS because I want the I want the the footage is like kind of not blocked but I don't want it visible to where they can see that it's going back uh, forward so I got this going on right here and then this is like it's, it's a straight up illusion I'm gonna tell you that right now watch add overlay go to your stickers like I said there's no rewind so do they even have a rewind sticker hold on I don't even think they have a rewind sticker they got a fast forward sticker they've got a play sticker Okay, there's, there's no rewind. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make this up. All right, it's cool, it's cool. Hold on. Right there. So, I'm gonna split it. And then delete this. And then after that, time bender kicks in. it by four and then add my filter add overlay And then after that, you know, my little arrows or whatever. You know, after after swapping them because I 
should have that. All right. So this this is how it's gonna go down. All right. Flexition. Check it. Said, this is my second time attempting this. Uh, I mean, you know, the fact that it says rewind makes them think that it's rewinding, and when they hear that, uh, you know, it just it sounds like it's going backwards. You know what I mean? So just take advantage of that and be creative with what you have and use it to the best of your ability. Flexion. Alright, before we get into this guys, I'm going to go through and explain to you what we're using. So, we're going to have the Eclipse screenshot right here because it's going to be a perfect example to show you guys how time bending works. The reason why I say that is because you can do so much with it. With this right here, you can increase the radius, whether you want it bigger or smaller. And then you could also change the color of it. I actually don't hit confirm. <laughs> you got to change the color of it. And you know, you can make it whatever color you want. So, yeah, let's get back to that tutorial. All right, so here I'm just adding a little finishing touches to this clip here, so that way we'd be ready to use our time bender. This clip will look much more smoother once we apply our time bending effect. So the technique that I'm using to do this is splitting and trimming, and I'm also using a blending and transition. Notice how the clip kind of stops in between the transitions and it's just a slight pause as it rotates. As we use our time bender, it's just gonna be one fluid motion and its colors are gonna change like a rainbow or some shit i don't know but let's get into this all right so we've got our clip here we're ready to add our time bending effect keep in mind that when you use time bender it will either extend or shorten your clip depending on whether you fast forward or slow motion it right now it's shortening my clip i'm going to go ahead and put these clips together and use time bender so that way this clip can be long enough for you guys to see this example clearly I want this to be about 9 seconds long, so we're going to go through and, you know, estimate a little bit and try to get this clip to be at least that long, so that way I can show you guys how fluid this looks. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I really hope this helped you guys out. And if so, be sure to drop a like. If you guys have any other questions or any other tutorials that you'd like me to do, let me know in the comments below. This video will be added to the intro to Share Factory playlist. And this is your boy Flexion coming at you from Flexision. And I'll see you in the next one.